friends, this is Ruben with Hi-Fi MIDI, and I want to wish all of you a Happy New Year. Now, it's been a few weeks since I posted my last video because of vacation and Christmas and New Year, but you guys understand that. Today, I want to talk about cymbal swells. This is something that I've never been satisfied with on any sampled instrument. The reason being is because you tend to get this very mechanical, very uh, machine gun-like effect. And those of you familiar with MIDI are familiar with the term machine gun effect. And uh, certain innovations have been made. Uh, one of them is the round robin effect, which triggers a different, sa different sample or uh, changes the sample using an algorithm. Now, this sometimes works. Sometimes it doesn't. But... It still never sounds that natural to me. Now the the way around that is getting a plugin that has a recording of a cymbal swell. You're gonna find this in orchestral recordings, orchestral sample libraries rather, where you have somebody playing a cymbal swell at different speeds. One of them is gonna be short, one of them is gonna be medium, and the other is gonna be long. Um, sometimes they'll let you control the dynamic, but that's not always useful because of the fact that, let's say you're using a certain type of drum set and the cymbals have a certain characteristic. Well, if you use the orchestral cymbals and then you use a drum set, you're gonna hear the difference in tone. So today I wanna show you how to get, a, it's not a perfect, but it's somewhat of a natural cymbal swell using Superior Drummer um, in Logic. Next time I, I'll try to show you how to do it in Pro Tools. But uh, the first thing we want to do is open up an instance of Superior Drummer, if you have that. Now, I just have it on, on Avatar, and this is the default drum set right here. Now, as you can see, it has many different cymbals. So I go to my instrument track, and I have this beat right here that I just made up on the spot. It's not that, it's not fancy at all. Now, I played that by hand and I quantized it, but I want a one measure cymbal swell leading up to that. So what I'm gonna do is create a MIDI region right here. I'm just gonna drag this back and it has an empty MIDI region. And then I'm gonna go into my hyper editor by pressing P. And you see that this space is empty. Now, I'm going to go through different symbols because not every symbol is going to sound good with a cymbal swell. Not everything, not every symbol sounds natural. Um, the brighter symbols tend to sound a little bit um, robotic or machine gunny. I'm going to show you what that's like. So, first, let me find the symbol. I think it was C sharp three. Yes. All right, now what you wanna do is go to your transport window and you'll see right here this grid time division is set at 16th notes. Now, 16th notes are gonna be slow, too slow for this. Set it at around 32. Okay, now if you have the latest version of Logic, it's gonna have this brush feature. You can have the brush feature on the you set it on the um, left click or you could set it on the uh, it's actually not right click but it's option and click to bring up the brush what you're going to want to do after you've set your grid to 30 second notes go to time quantize press 30 second notes right here then you press command so that the brush tool shows up. After this, you just brush it all the way to the right. Until you've reached measure two. Now let me put this back. 
Now, do you notice that this is red? I don't want it to be red. That means that it's at its highest velocity. So it's hitting the symbol as hard as I can and, and it's gonna sound terrible. Sorry if that hurt your ears. Now what we're gonna do is highlight this. And then we're gonna go to functions. Well, before I go to functions, what I, I'm gonna tell you what I want to accomplish. I want to have a cymbal swell going from a, let's say a piano uh, dynamic, all the way to a forte, which is so soft to loud, from the beginning of measure one to the end of measure one. So I'm gonna go into functions, MIDI transform, crescendo. Now you should see this line right here going from this point all the way to this point right here. And it shows you the values of it, one to 127. That means that it's gonna be at its lowest velocity to its highest velocity. So basically from soft to loud. Over here, you wanna make sure, I set it from measure one, beat one, all the way to measure two, beat two. So in reality, I don't think it's gonna to go to 127 all the way over here, but that's still gonna work for us. After you do that, you press select and operate and it should turn this from blue all the way to red. Good. Now let's see how that sounds. Yeah, still sounds terrible, right? So what I want to go to what I want to do now is go into Superior Drummer. They have a function called multiple hit emulation. I'm gonna right click that symbol that was being played. In this case, it's this one right here, but I'll show you. Okay, right click that symbol, go to this MHE and increase the value all the way. Now what this does, it's gonna make it blend a little bit more, but watch what happens. Now it didn't, it didn't sound that great. And this is what I was talking about. Some of the brighter symbols still don't sound good af after, um, after you've done all this. I'll just go ahead and skip all these and go straight to this ride right here. This ride sounds really dark in comparison to the symbol. And rides usually do because they're, they're um, lower in pitch. So let's hear how that sounds. Oops. This ride is... B2. So I'm gonna go all the way to B2 and it's probably not even um, correct on here. So it's probably gonna be B3 on here. I'm gonna drag this all the way up to B3. There you go. Let's hear how that sounds. That sounded a little better to me, but still sounds mechanical. So another thing you want to do is having these notes highlighted, drag it to the left to shorten the notes so that there's more of a separation between them. And then we go into Superior Drummer, Construct, right click the ride and then increase the multiple hit emulation. Let's hear how it sounds. Now to me that sounds a lot better actually. But something tells me that it could probably sound a little more natural. So what I'm gonna to wanna to do is go into Step Editor. And you'll see that perfect crescendo line that we made. It should be around here somewhere. There it is. I'm gonna take my pencil tool 
and just kind of follow the line, but just make it, make it natural. Hopefully this is going to follow the natural variations in arm speed. So there you have it. A hopefully natural sounding cymbal swell. Now if you add reverb to this, it's going to muddy the sound a little bit more or make it a little more wet and um, get rid of that machine gun effect that you might still be able to hear. All right, friends. Well, thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful for you. And uh, please subscribe and like this video if you haven't done so. And I'll try to be putting out more. Thank you.